everyone! I'm so excited to show you this new palette I've discovered, Sakura by Violet Voss. It has a lot of vibrant pinks uh, representing the cherry blossom of Japan. It has a range of colors uh, of pinks that, let's, let's open it up so you can see it. It has a range of colors of pinks and browns that I think are going to be perfect for spring but also for winter for me because here in Florida we wear a lot of vibrant pink colors. And in Florida, anything goes. You can wear flip-flops all year round <laughs> and you can wear pink all year round. This formula is highly pigmented and buttery and it blends beautifully. I think that the reviews on this um, on Sephora were dead on and I am very excited to show you how I put this look together. I'm using the Laura Mercier Blurring Powder, setting powder. I just did a little bit of contouring. And I'm gonna spray with my setting spray, this Air, it's, I think it says Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray by uh, Charla Tilbury. It's funny, I was watching uh, some women put on their setting spray on YouTube and they look so glamorous when they do it. They're like, and I'm just like, I look like such a goober when I do this. I spray it and I'm laughing, I'm getting it in my eyes. So bear with me. I can't do it with a straight face. Okay, so this is the palette I'm using today. It is Sakura by Violet Voss. And look at these cherry pink colors. I am so excited to try this. It was a top weighted palette in Sephora and I got it uh, during the sale. And I'm just pulling it out, so I'm very excited to try this. I'm gonna start off with a little bit of eyeliner. This is Kofi. I'm just getting like a little bit of liner in because when I start putting the powders in, I like to use the after I put the liner on. That way it kind of sets it. And you can see also that I did just a little bit of contouring powder on my eyes. Just um, other people, and that's what they typically do. So let's try that. Also, I use the Kelly Smashbox for offering and also the SAIE bronzing before I do the powder form with the Kelly Smashbox. Okay, I'm gonna start off with this color Spring. It looks so pretty, and I think it's gonna go perfect with the outfit that I'm wearing. I wear a lot of pink. <laughs> I love pink. Um, so I'm very excited about this pot. Look at this pink. Oh, it is perfection. It is perfection. I love it. Now normally I use a transition color before putting a color like this on, but I wanted to see how this would look without doing a transition color. I definitely want to get it into this area over here, which I don't, I normally kind of miss. This is so pretty. This color spring is beautiful. I can bring it down. I really love this color. <laughs> it definitely reminds me of cherry blossoms in spring. Very delicate pink, love it. So now I'm gonna try this color blushing underneath. It looked like it was gonna be a little bit darker. I'm gonna put that in the crease area. Look at that pink. Now this is a vibrant pink. All right, so, so far I am really, really, really impressed with this, this palette. I love these colors. I love spring and blushing so far. I can see why this is very popular pink. Okay, so at this point I could probably do something like this color bubbly, or I could do the Sakura, which is this nice light pink, but I think I want to do something bold. I'm going to use this festival all over the bottom lid and the cat eye area. Look at this. Now I definitely can make this a lot darker, but I'm not going to. So this festival is super bright and fun. And what I'm thinking of doing is putting um, the really glittery pink color on top to make it really pop. Oh, it's very pretty. Okay, I'm just putting a little bit of glitter primer, Valentino, and tapping it into my eyelid. Now I'm gonna use this color Petals on top of that. Now I'm gonna use the Sakura light pink right underneath the crease line. But this will make the eyelid really pop. 
Now I'm following up with bubbly on the inner corner. I'm going to bring it in just a little bit. Now I'm using this color Season to go over the brown. And I'm going to put a little pop in the middle of this line to give it like that little fleeting Sakura cherry blossom a peek through. I'm putting the color Petals right in the middle here. Halo eye kind of look just kind of like in the middle. Okay, before I try this next step, just look at how the eyes look now. They look beautiful. They're perfect, but I want to add a little extra glam. So I'm going to try this Carla Cosmetics Special Effects Glitter with this E56 brush. Look at this glitter. It is beautiful. I mixed it with the Carla Cosmetics Primer. Now that you could do a lot of different kinds of designs. You could just do it like on the crease area or just as a liner. But I just want to see how the whole thing goes. Okay. Yeah, I had wanted to try this. I've seen the glitters, but I wasn't sure how they would look. Um, once again, when I take this off, I will use um, some tape to pull it off first before I use my eye cleaning stuff. And I think I want to put just a little bit in here. This is so pretty. Now, if I put like a whole bunch of this stuff on, it will look chunky. I did so. I am liking this one. The special effects glitter is very pretty. I'm going to put a little bit under the eye on the middle part just to see the sparkle. This is so pretty. Okay, now I'm just going to follow up with this Charlotte Tilbury face palette just to do the cheeks and make it a little bit pinker. This is so pretty. Lily liking this look. And a little bit of this brighter color, maybe in the back. Actually, it doesn't really look too bright, and it may be hard panned a little bit, so we'll have to look at that. And I am going to put this light highlighter on. Now, highlighter doesn't only show up on me so well. <laughs> I'm just um, too pale, I think, <laughs> to really for it to show up. There are a few that show up, like the Vena Queen shows up on me this is I mean you can see a little bit of a glow it's very subtle and classy okay so this is the finished look um also putting like a little picture of uh how it looks like the full outfit and everything uh you'll see in the background that there's a lot of guitars my husband plays the guitar and I sing and he has his own youtube channel just dedicated to music uh and our um, youngest son plays the drums so we have we have like a little partridge family going on here <laughs> um hope that you enjoyed this tutorial i loved this pink like this pink is everything it's going to match so many of my outfits so i think that the reviews on sephora um were dead on because the this pink is really pretty and i do like this um glitter effect now if you can see hopefully it shows up <laughs> So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.